Welcome back to Serious Talk, the show where we take the stress out of HVAC and help you stay cool, comfortable, and well-informed. I'm your host, Luis Fuentes, and today's episode might rattle a few doors, literally. We're talking about a surprisingly common habit that could be messing with your comfort, cranking up your energy bills, and even messing with your health. Closing doors while your AC is running. Yeah, we know it seems hard. Maybe you're trying to keep the cold air in the room or block out noise from that one relative who's always yelling at the TV. But trust me, this one little habit can cause a whole lot of trouble. Let's break it down into these five parts. First part is restricted airflow. It's a trap. Your air conditioner is a system, not a magic box that just pumps out cold air. It relies on consistent, balanced airflow throughout the house. When you start shutting doors, especially bedroom or office doors, you've blocked that airflow. You create pressure imbalance, like many air traffic jams in the ducts. It's like trying to run a marathon with one nostril closed. Sure, you might make it, but you're gonna struggle and it's not good for the system. And part two, Hello, high energy bills. With doors closed and airflow restricted, your AC has to work harder to push cold air where it's needed. That extra work, it just shows up in your utility bill and not in a cute way. Your system will cycle more often, run longer, and burn more electricity, which wears it down faster. It's kind of like forcing your AC into a daily CrossFit workout it never asked for. And part three, frozen coils, not the good kind. So here's something wild. When airflow is restricted, your EVAP coils can actually freeze. In the middle of summer, your AC can start icing over like a freezer gone rogue. Without enough warm air passing over those coils, the condensation on them freezes, turning your system into a block of ice. Cooling performance drops, and you might even get water damage from the melting ice. Moral of the story, your AC is not meant to moonlight as an ice sculpture. And part four, indoor air quality takes a hit. Let's talk health. When you close off rooms, you're not just trapping air, you're trapping dust, pet dander, allergens, and VOCs from paints, cleaners, and furniture. With less ventilation, those pollutants build up fast. If someone in your home has asthma or allergies, this is a recipe for sneezing, wheezing, and general misery. It's like turning that peaceful bedroom into a sealed off bubble of stale air. Not ideal. And part five, uneven temps and mold problems. Closed doors also create temperature imbalances. Some rooms might feel like a meat locker while others are still warm. The thermostat doesn't know what's going on and it only senses one area. That imbalance leads to moisture buildup and where there's moisture, you guessed it, mold and mildew. Now we've got health concerns and that musty smell that no one, no candle can cover. So. What's the fix? The solution is simple. Keep interior doors open when your AC is running. Let that air circulate. Let your system breathe. Doing so helps your AC work efficiently, stay healthy longer, maintain better air quality, keep the whole house comfortable. Plus, you'll avoid those, those surprise repair bills and help your system live its best life. So the tip of the episode, Doors are for privacy, not pressure problems. Keep them open when the AC is on and your home and lungs will thank you. That's a wrap for episode seven of Serious Talk. If this episode helped you understand your AC just a little better, hit that follow button, leave a review, or share it with someone who's always sealing themselves in like a climate control vault. Next week, we're diving into another cool topic, how to tell if your thermostat is lying to you. Spoiler, it probably is. Until then, I'm Luis Fuentes helping you stay chill the smart way.